Hello and welcome back once again for more yo-yo experience as we do the challenge. I'm gonna go ahead and put my previous yo-yos in one of these chests here. Now, we're not gonna use them because quite frankly, they're lower than the Amazon. But still, they're nice for the collection, right? Right. So maybe at some point I'll go back to the underground and try to get something down there. Also, I'd like to go down here and try to find the merchant underground, the skeletal merchant. So we can make something from him happen. We could probably use several of his items. Well, actually, we'll need the yo-yo bag, so... Yes. At some point, we'll have to do that. I'm gonna try to build a house so we can get our mechanic here. I do have enough statues, I believe, so we can actually make a nice little farm. We can actually farm up some gold really, really easy. Which would be really nice. So, again, we just gotta go ahead and get a house for her to move in. Let me go back and grab the appropriate building blocks. I should have plenty of blocks up here to make something happen. I actually have some even stone blocks. I'll use those. As well as what else we got. Gray bricks, of course. Awesome. So, while we have all this, we might as well just go ahead and grab these reagents up here as well. Because, again, full bloom. Use a nice staff of regrowth, which always makes a difference. Look at that. Cleaning house with that. And yes, I would always recommend Staff of Regrowth for Reagent Farming. I would recommend a Reagent Farm. Heck, it makes everything so much easier, doesn't it? Okay, then... Yup! Awesome, look at that. We get a little extra reagents, we get a little extra seeds. Everything is so good over here. Alright, deposit, and of course our nice little potion station. When we start crafting more, that'll definitely come in some serious handy. Now I'm gonna build a house over here. I had a building potion, but unfortunately it no longer exists, so that's... It's a bummer. I'd unused up once before. I actually finished building this nice little island. Okay, put a little light source right here, because why not? So, yeah, we'll have to go ahead and build this by hand. This will probably be a time skip. I'm not going to sit here and make you guys wait till I get done, but... Yeah, just an idea of what's going on here. Alright, so the Ebonstone brick house we just built. I think it looks pretty cool. I had to go back over and farm some more, but it's all good. I had to go ahead and put some tables and chairs and such in, but yeah, we're gonna stick with it. And I think the Ebonstone bricks don't summon any of the eaters or anything, so that's good. Now, if you use regular Ebonstone, that'd be a different story. It can actually bring in some of the corruption, but the bricks themselves are 100% perfectly safe, and they're just there for decoration, so... I'm gonna go ahead, I had doors and such, where did I put the doors and such? Uh, yes, I put them with the yo-yos, well, at least I put some of the chandeliers. We'll grab two of these nice silver chandeliers. Probably two of these chests, too. Actually, you know what? Let's grab two golden chests. I need to get some table and some chairs, don't I? Yes, I certainly do. Last episode, I actually had some dungeon equipment I put back. Come to think of it, I probably should have actually kept it, but whatever. Too late for regrets now. Too late for regrets now. Go ahead and grab some more wood. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and finish this up. We've already got a brick background set up. I kind of like Ebonstone brick. Very interesting design. I think it'll be pretty good for our engineer or our mechanic, I should say. Engineer mechanic, it's just it's close, but not the same thing, but at the same time, she is who she is, and we're gonna make everything work in her favor over here. Jeez. Yeah, there I go. There I go again, doing silly things. I crap. We gotta go back. I'm getting so excited I'm going right into the house and I'm not even building. Oh my goodness. We gotta go make a chair and table and such first. Jeez. All right. I gotta say so far, this has been a very interesting yet very fun series. Being able to go back and not just do the yo-yo challenge, but making some of these buildings in this island itself has actually been something very different than what I've been doing in some of these other series. So we, we've kind of mixed it up here a little bit. Okay, throw a nice door there. And we've gotten two chandeliers to put up here, so chandelier here. Chandelier here. There we go. Looks much better. This should be NPC approved, meaning she will move in or, or whoever will move in when the time comes. So let's do that, right? And there we go. Yes, come on, my lovely mechanic. You are now here. Awesome. Even though it's daylight, so she'll probably... It'll probably take her a long while before she gets here from the dungeon. Anyway, at least we got that set. Very good. Very good indeed. Next up, we do have to start getting ready for the Wall of Flesh. We'll have to start making our way down. We're going to need an obsidian generator, or at least we're going to need some obsidian for that. And, yeah, we'll have to go ahead and make our obsidian shield, because we can make that by combining the skull with our cobalt shield. Speaking of which, I hate to keep taking off this 
Band of Regeneration, but we're gonna do that so we can place the shield in. It's nice not to have knockback. Whether you believe it or not, it's nice to not have that knockback. So before I start going down, let me just go ahead and straighten this inventory mess up here a little bit. And then we should be good to go for the most part. And I don't even know why I pulled those chests out. If I didn't even use them. Talk about silliness. Alright, actually, since she moved in so quick and I've already got my materials, let me go ahead and grab some of these statues. Now, I don't have the most optimized statues, but at the same time, I should have these statues to make something work here. So, let me just go back. Which one that I had the statues in? Oh my goodness, so many chests, so many chests. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't make any more chests. One of these should have our statues in it, right? Stackables, pots and herbs. Okay, well, there was a chest around here with statues in it. I think it was this one. Oh my goodness. Either way, we'll go ahead. Get the materials, we'll start building. There we go, I just totally missed it. I'm not paying attention. And yeah, we'll go do that. And we'll, we'll set it up. All right, well, this is my little preliminary version. I'm gonna go ahead and tweak it to make it a little bit better. But as you can see, nothing too fancy. Using two bunny statues, we'd actually go ahead and just keep dropping on bunnies. Now, there is a way to optimize this to make it much more faster, but, you know, like I said, we'll go ahead and fix this as we get more statues and such. Currently, we've got, what, 36 bunnies? They don't sell for a lot, but, hey, they do sell, so... Again, if you got a couple minutes to sit here and farm them, you can get some gold out of them. And that's gonna be a good thing as we get into hard mode, because we're gonna need all the stuff to buy to get. Also, yeah, we can actually use some gold to save up to buy some things from the underground merchant, or the skeletal merchant, once we actually find him, because... Again, that's going to be a task in itself to do that. But, again, it's a simple little thing. We have a wire switched up to two switches over here. Can I just stop doing that for a second? As you can see, we got that switched up. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now the bunnies are doing the tweaking. Look at that. Tweaking bunnies. Bunnies be tweaking. Anyway, there's a switch wired to the statue, which has a plate which wired to another statue. Very interesting indeed. So, okay, those bunnies were tweaking out. I don't know what was all that about, but... Two of them, okay, whatever. Yeah, we totally, totally glitched that out. But, again, yeah, we'll go ahead and farm this for a little bit. 66, 67. I'll expand upon this, making it a little bit bigger. We'll make more bunnies happen. Again, this isn't the optimized. Don't think of this as the final version. Just think of this as the beginning. Think of this as like 0.01 version. Well, one day we will reach the final version, and one day it'll be very, very good indeed. Alright, it's time to see what 90-some bunnies sell for. So, what do we have? 93 bunnies, 4 gold. Eh. That's a cheap way of doing 4 gold. Again, not exactly the most efficient, but we'll get there. We'll actually make it a little bit better. We just gotta get some more things going here. So, I guess we can go ahead and store this. We're back down to what? Quick stock. We have 52 gold. Okay, so there was that. I'm trying to save all my gold I can. Still pretty good for pre-hard mode. We do have a pretty good stash. But we need to get better. Speaking about things needing to be done, we also need to get the goblin merchant, or goblin tanker, excuse me, up here. Gotta build a place for him, which will probably be on the other side. Sorry, mechanic, you won't be able to see the tanker unless you walk all the way over. And those two may not be wanting to do that. Okay, so I'll let those guys cavort up there for a little bit. They're just kind of chilling in there. We're gonna go ahead and start digging our way down. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and find a merchant, I don't know. This could be a time skip thing because we never know what we're going to find down here. This place, I've done did so many tunnels, it's not even funny. So we may find it, we may not. Alright, on the way back down, here we go, we got some minecarts, so let's go ahead and explore this. Maybe we'll find something interesting down here. I know we're coming up on the ice biome again, the snow biome, whichever. But, oh hello chest, hello, 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 what we got here. We don't have access to our lightning boots yet. There's another pair of Hermes boots. We just go ahead and loot that, thank you. Actually, there we go. That's nice to have too. Get back on that rail. Get back on that rail. There we go. Awesome. So let's go ahead and travel along once again. Oh, water. Water, water everywhere. Whoa! Super fast, hyper speed, super fast, hyper speed. Do we miss any chests or anything? There's some more hearts. There's a chest up there. Hold on. Oh ho ho, hold on. Back up there, please. We are not done yet. There is seriously bad. There is more bats. There clearly is more bats, but no, there is a chest up here we need to get access to. Seriously, bats. The worst, the worst, most annoying mob. 
There we go. Sling our way back up there, please. Thank you. Come on, we can do it. Get in there, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We need the aglet, which we don't get. Blast it. All right, well. There was that. All right, make room for you. We can always sell those later. As well as the gravitation potion. We could definitely use that for more searching of the Sky Islands. Clear this out, please. Thank you very much. I probably won't take this chest because inventory is getting unlimited. I could probably throw some stuff out here. Save on space. But again, I'm being a bit of a hoarder now. All right. Back on the rails again we go. See, now we would have missed that chest totally. And we would have missed out on another piece to sell. More money to be made. So much money here. So little time to be made. Um, More water. Awesome. Just simply awesome. End of the rails it is, huh? Well, that's good. End of the rails we are. Pop back up here for another wonderful chest. Where are you located? Oh, hello. You're located right here next to the mushroom biome with the mushroom chest. And yeah, we probably could get those chandeliers. Please get up there, please. Okay, well, there we have an extractinator. We can use that. Loot all, please. Let's see what we could drop. Throwing knives, we could sell you, but extractinator is more important, so... There's that. And potions. Lesser potion, we don't need you. Archery potion, we technically don't need you. Or glow stick, so whatever. Yeah, I'm being a little bit more wasteful on that one. Fortunately, yeah. I gotta go back and get a safe or something. I should get another piggy bank so I can use it on a go. Little bugger slimes. Yeah, my inventory management in this series so far has been subpar to say the least. But everything else has been going pretty good. Shield statue. Okay, ow. Little slimes can be so hard to see down here. And a boomerang. So there's that. Jeez. Okay, well, again, more syllable items, that's fine. But I would love to get the aglet so we can go and do some combining here because we need to make the lightning boots as soon as possible would be definitely good. Let's see, mushroom seeds, I could probably use those. So what do we need to drop this time around? Worms, I'm holding on to you. Let's see. Oh, so much stuff. Okay, let's get rid of stone brick because we don't need that right now. I have that. I have Cthulhu. Get rid of dirt. And such is life. Okay, danger sense potion. There's danger sense right there. Oh, so many ores down here, so little time. And my digging powers are almost gone. Blast it. Is there anything else up here, maybe, possibly? No, I see what could be more spider area up there. More, like a spider thing. I doubt it, but... Oh, God. Come on, bats. Bloody bats. Yeah, we're almost done here. Chests, life crystal, chests, life crystals. That's what we got around this area. A whole lot of them. Oh, hello, giant Shelly. Come on, giant Shelly. You are not going to drop the yo-yo for me. Blast it. What? 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 Slime. What slime? Jeez. Again, this light source is not exactly the best. Wisp in the bottle would be so much better. What was that statue? That was one we didn't need. Okay, well, moving along from that. What else is over here, please, before our potion runs out? We got 40-some seconds left. Ow, poison. Ow, the poison. The poison is no good for you. Get up there, light. Please get up top of there. Thank you very much. Get up there. There we go. Ah, whatever. Our light source. Hurry up and dig. Oh, blast, there goes my potion. So the potion ran out. Now we're kind of just doing it on our own, right? So, oh, hello, what do we got here? Oh, goody, we've gotten marble. Ain't this just a slice of loving right here? Fantastic. All right, maybe we can get something, maybe a chest out of here? Who knows, but it's worth a shot, right? Right. So as long as we don't have Medusa come charging in, we should be good. Hello, little pot. And healing potion, awesome. At some point, we'll start converting those over. We gotta get some glowing mushrooms. We can convert those over to actual regular healing potions. That'll be the best way to maximize the return on those. Oh, I see somebody down there. That is a hoplite. Okay, well, that's throwing, so... Oh, gosh. I'm scared to go down here, guys. Scared. Ow. Queen Mother Slime. Mother Slime hurts. Oh, God. Hoplites. Oh, hoplites and you? Oh, God. A yo-yo drop. I see that yo-yo. Hold on. We need that yo-yo. That rally is what we needed. Okay, so silt. 
Blast it. We got so much stuff. Okay. Well, but... Oh, Silt, you're only three blocks. We'll get you again next time. It was a sacrifice for the greater good, because now we can say, at least we got the rally, and there's Medusa. Hello, wiggly, jiggly-haired Medusa. Oh, you got cheese, a piece of armor fall? Do we have a piece of armor that fell? I believe we have a piece of armor that fell. Okay, well, but... Okay, let's use some of these bombs. We've got some bombs at home anyway, so we can use these bombs to dig. Bombs away! Yes, all the bombs away. What do we got? Anything good? Guess we'll get some nice marble out of this, right? Actually, I should probably do that. I'm gonna farm marble. Farm the marble, indeed. Throw the bombs and go here, go there, everywhere. Bombs going everywhere. Okay, maybe that wasn't a good idea. All right, cobweb, I hate to get rid of you, please, but marble... We can make marble houses. That's a very good point. Who wouldn't want a marble house? I know a goblin tinker who would love the marble house, right? What do you think about that? Oh, so many slimes, so little time. All right, well, at least they're done. Anything else? Okay, I think we're about ready to wrap up this nice little slice of life video we got going on here, at least. Yeah, we've gotten some good things. I see a nice detonator over here. Yes. With a lot of platinum, it appears. Oh, another one. Look at that platinum. Whoa! -ho 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 we almost get that one triggered. That would have been horrible. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I just want to go over here and get a little bit more marble. That would have been so terrible. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm just going to sit here and farm some of this stuff. We'll get ready for the next episode. So if this comes out to be a little bit short, I apologize in advance. But more great things to come as we press on. Oh yeah, look at all that marble block. I am in love with marble for this moment. I can't wait to see what a marble house looks like. This is going to be awesome.